don't think that the peace conference... For nearly 25 years, he was one of the most powerful and recognisable people in the world. The oil minister in the world's most important oil producer, known everywhere simply as Sheikh Yemeni. Ahmad Zaki Yemeni became Saudi Arabia's oil minister in 1962. But he became a household name in much of the world a decade later, when he helped direct an Arab oil embargo against the US, prompted by Washington's support of Israel in the 1973 Arab-Israeli war. Could you say something about what, whether you think the price freeze will continue? Or will it... Oil prices quadrupled, triggering a global recession, gasoline shortages and even long lines at filling stations. The embargo was lifted the following year, but it established the power of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, over oil and Sheikh Yemeni's power within OPEC. A man whose every word could move global markets. And while Yemeni was known for his calm negotiating style, he also popularized the term the oil weapon. What happens if the US resorts to force and occupies the oil fields in Saudi Arabia? There are some sensitive areas in the oil fields in Saudi Arabia which will be immediately blown up. By and yourself? Then, by, by your of people? Of course, of course. And then what will happen is Europe has to live, and Japan of course, has to live without oil from Saudi Arabia for so many years. Twice in 1975, Yemeni found himself at major moments in history. In March, he was standing just outside the room when a nephew of then King Faisal assassinated the monarch. Then a few months later, he was one of several ministers taken hostage at OPEC's headquarters in Vienna, orchestrated by the Venezuelan political assassin known as Carlos the Jackal. Three people were killed in that attack. He remained as minister until 1986 when Saudi Arabia's King Fahd abruptly sacked him. He was born in Mecca in 1930, at a time when camels still roamed the city, and lived to see his country transformed almost beyond recognition. He oversaw the nationalisation of the Arabian American Oil Company, better known today as Aramco, then and now Saudi Arabia's main source of revenue. But even at the height of his power, he knew that oil riches will end some day. The Stone Age didn't end for lack of stone, he said. An oil age will end long before the world runs out of oil. Ahmad Zaki Yemeni died in London at the age of 90.